other immune-mediated diseases that affect the nervous system, multiple sclerosis being a classic example, can be triggered, an attack can be triggered by anything that insults the nervous system. So theoretically a severe head injury, severe spinal injury, um, spinal anesthesia, um, a surgery that gets into the nervous system. A simple fall, a simple injury, not likely to trigger neurologic parts of post-polio syndrome, but Perhaps the fall happened because they were already beginning to experience you know, some weakness and fatigability and an area became less reliable and they fell because they were trying to do things the way they always did. On the other hand, if they fell and sustained an orthopedic injury in a polio limb where you know, they were well compensated, um, had no complaints of fatigue or weakness or anything beyond what was left over from the original polio, you then have an orthopedic problem, you have joint stiffness or a pulled muscle or a strained uh, or a sprained tendon or ligament, and you could notice that you're all of a sudden not walking as well, the muscles aren't functioning as well. Whatever your compensated recovery is has been undone by an orthopedic factor. So when I'm seeing patients who are polio survivors and you know, definitely had polio, definitely had a period of stable recovery and are now having new complaints, whether those are complaints of new atrophy, new weakness, fatigability, or pain, um, one third of them end up to have something totally unrelated, another medical problem or another neurologic problem. One third of them just have progression or change in an orthopedic issue and their nervous system is exactly the same. One third actually do have new motor unit loss, which is kind of the baseline criteria for post-polio syndrome.